So what's your take on this, dog? You're a young comic in the game. Yes. You're coming up. Yeah. All right. I'm I'm very twisted on multiple Let's uh, hear, multiple we, fronts on now, this. We we're we're happy you guys are tuning in so you can finally get a take on this. Yes. Cuz I don't think I don't think anyone is turning this into content. Yeah, no is one is. Is that what our American economy is now? OnlyFans, Patreon, and takes on horrible things that happen. Yes. I yes. think so. That's what it is. That's all that's all it is nowadays. I'm I'm split on multiple fronts. As a black man, I don't want to see two legendary black people go at it. That was not great for the black community. No, it was not great for the black community. The only time I want to see two men in their fifties fighting if it's on a thriller undercard. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. That's the only other time you want to see that. Yeah, that's the only right. other time. As a comic, I don't like it because you can't just go up there and smack a comic doing their job. Right. So I'm, you have two. You're you're exploring this as a comic and also as a young black. Man. Yes, but also as a fan of Will Smith, I okay. understand because with everything that Jada put him through, with the entanglements with August Alcina, Jaden's uh, friend, and also her red table talk on the TV, the Facebook saying how she's not satisfied with Will's sexual actions. You push a man to a certain point, he can't take it anymore. And with Chris, with the Chris Rock joke. He has to defend himself to not become another meme. Because, oh, if he's not sticking up for Jada, Jada's going to let him hear it. It's going to end up on a red table talk, and now he's emasculated as a man. So you think that's what happened? It just sort of built up? Yes. And he took it, he projected it on Chris, took yes, it out on yes, Chris. Yes, because he had to defend himself, he had to defend Jada, and he had to defend himself from becoming a meme. Right. Or the latter one, and might be a probable one, is that, Chris, is that uh, Will Smith is secretly gay, and he has a crush on Chris, Chris Rock. I doubt that. Yeah. I doubt that. Yeah, but that's been rumored for many years that he's gay. Everyone who's famous gets that rumor, though. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Everyone in Hollywood, it's like, you know, uh, you know, everyone is rumored to be gay. George Clooney, I've heard from, and then I, you hear from people who say they work with him. He's, you know, but I mean, I, you know, are they all gay? Is yeah. everyone gay? I've heard Matt Damon's gay. Everybody, everyone thinks everyone's gay. But everybody's a little gay. Everyone's a little tad bit gay. A little bit gay, yeah. Some people more than others. Mm -hmm. Some people go all the way with it. Some people 1%. Everyone's at least 1% gay. Yeah, when you shave your, ba your beard, you become gay. When I shave my beard, I... It I'm a woman. Yeah. I look like a woman. You look like, I look like, a like woman. an overweight woman. Yeah, you look like you run a PTA meeting. Yeah, yeah. I look like I do comedy in rooms that smell like spilt beer and wet dogs. Yeah, you look like you feature for Tig Notaro. Yes, I do. Yeah. Exactly. I, I go I look like I perform comedy for people who need it the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, which is people why is my nose always itch when we do podcasts? I don't know. It's the cedar down here. I it's, need a snooze. This, Talk to the people for a second. The cedar down here in Texas, it smells like alcohol. I don't know. The, Take my yeah, you got to take your Claritin or it's just an allergic reaction to the kombucha in the air because this is a hipster neighborhood. Yes. Yeah, I need my Swedish snooze to continue this. Yeah, um, um, but get it back to it. I do think it's, it comes down to Will defending his honor against the meme, against the world, which was started by Jada. She's the mastermind in this. You know, she has yeah. alopecia. He had to defend. He had to defend her honor, but he was laughing at the joke in the first place. Right. Like he had alopecia, meaning it, he had a. She no, she Black has girl, a side piece named Alopecia. <laughs> <laughs> Alope <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like a black name, but like, ba yeah. like a baby food company, <laughs> yeah. yeah, or a baby food company, or like a uh, region in Montana. Go, go hike the yeah. Alopecia Mountains. Yeah, don't go to Alopecia. You yeah. won't come back. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Let's unpack this. Let's unpack this. A lot of people think that he acted emotionally. Yeah, he did with no reason. I disagree. I disagree. I think there's reason, but I, it's he went over the top emotionally. I think. The people who become this is my this is my take. Go ahead. People become that big and who are that talented are very aware. Extremely. They're very aware. Yeah. They're they know how to promote themselves. They know the moment. They know the gravity of the moment. All right. Will Smith is a planet. Mm hmm Let's not mince words. Will Smith is top five most famous people. Maybe in the world. Yeah. Okay. He's a A-list, top A-list movie star. Okay. There's not many people who are more famous than him. I think you have to look to either Putin. I think Putin maybe will fit more famous than him. Or, yeah. Yeah. Zelensky's number six. Yeah. Z Zelensky's only. Zelensky's a flash in the pan. He's like a ball brother. Yeah. He's like the middle ball brother. Yeah. <laughs> He's big on Instagram, but it's not going to last long. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny Clone of the middle ball brother. Yeah like he's having A hot moment People are talking about What's gonna happen Is he gonna make the league yeah. kind of, Is he gonna win this war you Yeah know? They're studying his jump shot Yeah, yeah. but the mm -hmm. other two Ball brothers are Biden and Putin mm -hmm. 
those guys, we're, we're going to keep talking about them. Zelensky, we're not going to, you know, he's going to be big in, I guess, Ukraine, yeah. which is like the G know, League. Yeah, it'll be, which is like, you know, being big in a local comedy scene. Mm-hmm. So we're talking with both of these people are incredibly famous, yep. incredibly mm-hmm. successful, and incredibly beloved. Will Smith, even more. Mm-hmm. Will Smith, even more. Incredibly beloved. He's just coming off of what he knows is going to be an Oscar-winning performance because I hate to break it to you folks, they know that they're winning. The studio Mm. knows. It's a big promotional opportunity for the movie. They don't leave that to chance Mm. for Will Smith to go up there and go, oh, oh, thank you. You know, he's going up. Whenever they're going, oh, I can't believe I won this. And it's they're actors. Mm. That's what they do. It's a performance. So you're saying that they need an awards for Oscar acceptance speeches. They do. Yes. They need an Oscar for the acting that they do, pretending like they didn't know they were going to win the award. Yeah. Yeah. The studios pay for these as well to apply. There's a process. It's not as pure. Of course it's not because it's not a real competition. Yep. Any competition that's judged by dudes who I don't know who these fucking people are. Yeah, they're like 85 men that you never see. you know, and it's like, it's not a real competition. You're not watching March Madness. There's nothing pure about this. So he's coming out with this movie, King Richard, which Mm -hmm. he knows he's going to win the Oscar for. He's playing someone who might do something like that in defense of his family. Right, which was part of his speech. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it was planned. I'm saying Will Smith. It was a combination of things. It embodied. It, he embodied himself and the character at the time. He embodied himself and the character because actors are psychotic. Um, <laughs> I mean, whoever can, like pretends to be other people, you're a little sociopathic. Yeah. If you're not like full blown sociopath, you have the potential. When you're pretending to be someone that good, that's what sociopaths mm-hmm. do. You know, they lie about who they are. Which, is, which is, is a talent that they cash in on being, uh, you know, like Daniel Day-Lewis, probably full-blown psychopath. Yeah. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. Race car drivers are a lot of times psychopaths too because you have to not be able to fear fear to go 800 miles an hour in a fucking Italian car. Yeah, that's got to be something missing. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be something missing. Mm-hmm. So that's fine. That's fine. That's not, that's not, I'm not trying to drag him for that. Yeah. I'm not dragging him. What I'm saying is he understood the gravity of the moment. He knew how to get people talking. He also knew the whole thing with Jada, you know, goes back. Yeah. Uh, people talking about them. He also wrote a book where he talks about how he's always felt like a coward. Sergio Chicone, shout out, told me he read his book just now. And he's always felt like a coward because his, I think his dad was a little abusive. Yeah, his dad was a military man, would abuse his mom and his family when he was coming up. Yeah, so he says in the book, and I think he carries it even further that like one of the things in his life is that he's always kind of felt like a coward like that's what he's hard on himself for that yeah so i think this was a moment where at first he laughed and he said wait a second i'm just being the will smith you know that i've always been that bothers me this is a moment for me to go up and hit a much smaller man yeah because let's be honest you know if uh joe rogan was hosting he ain't going up. Yeah, he ain't doing that. He's not. getting a kick to the chest that's going to break an organ. Yeah. If it's The Rock hosting instead of Chris Rock, he ain't getting smacked. Yeah. If it's Serena Williams hosting, he ain't, she ain't getting smacked. No, she's not. That's a strong woman. Yeah. Okay? If it's Brittany Grenier, Brittany Griner hosting, yeah. he ain't smacking her. He's getting boxed out. He's getting boxed the fuck out. Yep. Okay? So Chris Rock is a tiny little puny guy. Okay? Even if Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's... Big. Yeah. Big. He's he used big. to be skinny, but now he's Jack. Yeah. All he has to do is breathe in Will's face. Yeah. I mean, it would have been more of an even fight between Dave Chappelle, two, mm-hmm. but like, you know, multi, multi, multi millionaires who don't know how to fight. But at least Will Smith practiced his throwing. He played Ali, he knows how to throw a punch. Yeah. His smack looked pretty good. Now, here's why I think he thought about it. It wasn't just an irrational, emotional uh, moment because he smacked him. That takes thought. Yeah. Because if you're angry, you're going to punch. I don't, yeah, I don't think he was going to lay him out on the, yeah, the floor. Yeah, so like he, that. Ha- he was thinking. So that means he was thinking. Like, when I've lost it, I don't think. Yeah. I, I do. I lose it. And I don't, I don't, uh, I don't uh, rail myself in. What's yeah. the word I'm looking for? Roll myself in. I don't uh, Reserve rear yourself. myself in. <laughs> oh, there you go. I don't pull myself in. Yeah. It just didn't, you know, I was hoping something smoother would come It's out. all right. We're, we're staying next to a community college, so their vocabulary rubs off on you. Exactly. Yeah. We're right by Austin Community College. So I think it was like a uh, marketing chance he took. Yeah, I think that was very calculated yeah. that he smacked them rather than He got than to kill him. a lot of birds with one stone. He got to, like, 
he he saw the moment as I, I'm gonna this will be good for the movie, which yeah. it is. I want to see it now. Yeah, oh, I, um, I saw it people are gonna very talk good. about mm. it. You know, the Oscars waning relevance. Movies definitely waning relevance. They're not making a lot of money. They're not being viewed as much. Nobody's talking about them as mm-hmm. much. That's just a fact. Um. He wants people to see this movie because it's. He knows he's winning the Oscar. It's probably one of his best performances. He's an amazing actor. Mm-hmm. Will Smith is an amazing actor. Yes, he's a talented guy. He's a versatile actor. Can do comedy. Can do drama. Has done magnum opus level dramas. Yes, has done action movies. Will Smith's talent is crazy. Okay, the rapping, it's low level. But it's still he can't, he managed to have a hit. Yeah, he managed to have it. Summer, summer, summertime. Yeah, you know I'm going to Miami. It's a shit song going to Miami, but it. You got to know how to sample old beats. You know. Yeah, and, it's and, only about a level that a rapper can reach if they don't curse. Yeah, he's yeah. not it, well. Yeah, I mean that too. But I mean he he's just not a great. Yeah, lyricist. he's Bill Nye, the science guy of rap. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. That is perfect, actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, how did you pull that out of thin air as the perfect you reference? You know, because Bill Nye is just the guy that everyone can relate to, that yes. you don't hate, that yes. you like him. Yeah, you know? and he's like kind of a scientist, kind of not. Yeah. You don't know. He, but he, he Bill went, Nye just smacked the shit out of Neil deGrasse Tyson, so yes. now we're at a crossroad right yes. now. Yes, <laughs> Yeah. He's Bill Nye, the science guy rapper. So he's great at everything, dog. And I just think there was a little premeditation in this. He also had time to think when he was walking up. Yeah. He was also kind of smirking. I think it was a mixture of emotion and premeditation. Yes. Now the emotion came out when he sat down because he lets a couple f bombs off. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your name. Keep your wife's wife's name out out your fucking mouth. mouth. And Chris's like, I'm going to. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) That motherfucker turned effeminate real quick, son. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. Now here's the deal. I don't want to mince words. Because it's probably going to be a main episode. I'm loving this app. I don't know. But it is never okay. It is never okay to attack a comedian. We, our job, and also it's not okay to not have security when there's a comedian performing at any club. Yes. And if you're a club and you don't have security or a venue, you're, 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 being, you're cutting corners because almost never anything happens. But it is the most vulnerable yep. job on the planet. Yep. We're up there making fun of people. People are crazy. And it's expected to go good. Yeah. People get upset and they they take things personally. They take things wrong all the time. It's easy access, son. We can get knocked the fuck out and real we're quick. up there alone yes. with a microphone. We're and, alone. You give, and you give these people alcohol so they can act irrational. And then you throw alcohol in it, which is when most fights happen. Yeah, and you throw in a stale plate of nachos that can get thrown at you. It's just not a good yeah, scene. Yeah, people probably have stomach problems, which is making them irritable because they're eating the cheap fucking nachos. Yes. Uh, and the cheap comedy club food. Yeah. You need security. You don't want to get blinded by a Valvita. Yes. Yeah. So I give credits to the clubs who have security, and the ones that don't, you're fucking cheap fucks. Mm-hmm. You're exploiters. Yep. That being said, it is never okay to approach the stage, and I hope nobody glorifies this and tries to recreate the moment because it did become a big moment. Yes, it did. And it was a bad look for one of the biggest stars of our generation. I mean, that I don't think anything like that's happened on camera. I mean, it's never happened. I don't think so. It's an unprecedented moment. Yeah. So you know? when you really think about it, Chris Rock made the ultimate sacrifice for Will Smith's sanity as a man, as a lover, and as just as an overall figure. Because I don't, this is because, like you said, this is the way that he he thought about it. He said, "I'm gonna stand up right now. I'm gonna smack him. I'm gonna get some cred back. I'm gonna push away the memes. I'm gonna turn people on Jada." Because Jada now said, "Oh, this is a process of healing." And people are like, "Yo, shut the fuck up!" Because yeah. you pushed him to this point. Right. Right. So Chris Rock kind of really helped Will Smith out. Right. In this situation, you know? Right. And I, what I also don't hope is because, you know, we live in this era now where nobody has any principles. Mm. Nobody does anything f- for right or wrong. Yeah. It, everything, everything is being done for people's interest. They're so brand conscious and how big it will be. I also hope that we don't see a bunch of like staged incidents like this because let's be honest, the facts are what they are. Chris Rock's tickets now are going for like 10 times the price yeah, what they were. They and sold out sold overnight. Out immediately. Uh, in Boston, yeah. Not only they sell out, they're like being resold for like 10 times the price. Yeah. So. Uh, the, the Chris Rock tickets are like bread fours. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right now they are. Yeah. 
They've just, I mean, the market. So that's a little sad to me too. That people kind of like we've become like this Real Housewives yeah. audience that loves the drama. I am not. We're I don't, motivated by that. I have tried to care about this shit. I don't. Yep. And I'm not. I'm not making that up. I don't. I don't care about the Kardashians. I don't care about what happened. Chris Rock doesn't care about me. I don't care about Chris Rock. Yeah. I don't care about Will Smith. Will Smith doesn't care about me. Two people had a fight. One smacked one. The only thing I'm concerned with is like, in the future of comedy, I hope we don't have any copycats of this shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody was hurt. It was a smack. When you watch the replay, he he the wind up looked worse. He got him like on the fingers. He like kind of missed yeah, a little he, bit. Yeah, he smacked him like he offered him a French duel. Yeah, it was yeah. more it wasn't really nobody got hurt or anything like that. Um, but there's so many things that people are upset about. Now Jim Carrey has come out and Jim Carrey has really come down hard on Will Smith. He's come down on the people in the audience who were applauding him after he did that. He's coming down hard on the Academy. And him and Will Smith were friends, are friends. Yeah. Um, Probably more closer to Chris because of In Living Color and things of that nature. Absolutely. Yeah. So he's friends with both of them. Um, and he's come down hard on Will for this. And he's come down hard on people clapping afterwards. Yeah. Will Smith was partying afterwards like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Singing Get Jiggy With It. <laughs> <laughs> Also, not one of hip hop's finest moments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's you know, there's a, c a couple guys who became great actors, who were just really bad rappers first. Yeah. Two of those people being Will Smith and Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Okay, but I, I'll say Will Smith's better than Mark Wahlberg. Of course. But that's not saying a lot. Yeah. Even though Mark Wahlberg did have sex with my high school girlfriend. Yeah, and he did make the happening. That, that he did make that. Ha he did make the happening. Yeah. Um, he also did bl blind an Asian guy, but yes, that was yeah. in a former time. You can't mention that because he doesn't identify as that anymore. Yeah. And you can't mention anything. Yeah. Prior. Those are her, those. Whatever are days someone and, is now, their past is not yeah, relevant. Yeah. Or those are his days are, in Dorchester. Those yeah. don't count. You know. You're not misgendering him, but you are misrepresenting him. Yes. He's no longer a scumbag from the streets of Boston. No. He's no. now a. He is now Marcus. Wahlberg and I will fight back. Yes. If you see this Mark Wahlberg and you get upset and want to smack me at the Oscars that I'll never be at, I will fight you back. Yeah. You charge the stage, I will fight you back. This is not a challenge. Don't hit me. Yep. <laughs> don't hit him. But I think Chris should hit him back. I don't know how you don't, but you, I give I give credit to Chris. I give credit. He handled to it like a fucking pro. He handled it like a pro. His lack of reaction would uh, make people believe that it was a setup. Right. But like, I think his lack of reaction shows how a masterclass he is. He's I a think it shows thirty year chops of a headliner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because right after, right after he was struggling, it looked like he was at an open mic, and yeah. a joke just didn't work. Yeah. yeah, he didn't know what to say. He was, like, he looked to the left or right. He was he looked to the left like, yo, is that the, is that my light? Yeah. Do you give me the light. <laughs> he just wanted out of there. Yeah, he yeah. wanted out of there, but he continued. Yeah, he got he got, and I think. It really speaks to how he understood Will's situation. Right. Because when he said the joke, he said, hey, that, that's okay. That's all right. That, that was a nice one. So I, I think he kind of understood that there was going to be a little bit of turmoil there. Right. Whether it was Jada. And, you, and Chris knows that if Jada doesn't like it, it's going to fall on Will because of the media outlets and shit like that. So I think he kind of knew, ah, right. I might have stepped on the line. Right. So was he, was he warranting a smack in the face? No. But could he see it coming? I think so. So Chris Rock really, he really kind of saved Will Smith. Right. And also, do we have to stop? Are we good? Also, let's not forget that this is not where the story starts. Unlike Leah Thomas, yep. where her story started last year, yep. this story goes back and there might be some relevant factors, unlike Leah Thomas. Yes. There's no relevant factors beyond a year ago to who she is. Mm -hmm. But... This, there are some relevant factors. Chris Rock has made jokes about Jada in the past, one of which was a harsh one. Yeah, 2016 yeah. at the Oscars, he made a joke. Uh, when uh, She boycotted it. Yeah, they boycotted it. Her and Will boycotted it. And he was like, uh, Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited anyway. Right. And great she, joke. Yeah, great joke. And yeah. he, she said, uh, he said that she's mad that Will didn't get nominated for concussion. Right. Uh, he said it was unfair. And he goes, it's also unfair that Will got paid $20 million for Wild Wild West. Right. So some shots have been displayed before. Shots fired. Yeah. 
yeah. shots, shots fired. He's taken a few shots. Yeah, he took a few shots, but I don't think anyone knew that she had alopecia. I didn't. He, I didn't know it either. And I don't think any of the 20,000 subscribers on the Facebook page for Red Table Talk knew either. No, I think most people didn't know she had propecia. Yeah, I thought she was just trying to emulate Tupac because she loved him so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, she can't take a joke, which is surprising because she seems like such a chill gal. Yeah. I mean, doesn't she just seem chill and easygoing? Yeah. She doesn't seem like a handful for Will at all. No, she doesn't. She just seems like go with the flow, very supportive. Yeah. Any woman that doesn't take your own last name is going to go with yeah, the flow. Yeah, I mean, look, yeah. any woman who's going to fuck <laughs> your son's good friend is pretty chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And the only reason I'm saying it is because she told everybody. Yes, she did. She told everybody. Yeah. So she turned what's going she turned their private life, which nobody should know about, into fucking content. Yep. When she felt her relevance start to slip. Mm -hmm. Because compared to Will's career, I mean it's like the difference between the NBA and the WNBA. Yep. I mean it's pretty sure the guy's career is like the NBA and her career is like that WNBA. Yeah. So you know, her career started to slip in relevancy a little bit. Her her kids started getting more famous. Yeah. Will, again, we all know how big Will is. You cannot get bigger than Will Smith. Mm -hmm. there, who is bigger than Will Smith? It's Will Smith, Brad Pitt. Who's bigger? Leo. Leo. That's as big as you get. Yeah. Yeah. It's, they're on the same, you know. That's the ceiling. That's the ceiling, dog. Yeah. So she decided to go on some fucking Facebook live show, right? Yeah. Like she was, like she was goddamn, like she was fucking a podcaster. Yeah, she turned their whole house yeah. into a set. She like, yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, like she was Kevin Brennan. Yeah. She went on like Kevin Brennan and started ripping her husband, mm -hmm. saying he wasn't a good lover. Is that true? Yeah, saying that the sexual life isn't the same. I mean, Jesus Christ. Dog. Had sex with August Alcina, you know. Yeah, and the kid, how old was that kid? He's like, I think like 26, 27 at the time. At the time he was in his 20s, dog. She, what is she, a 50, 50 year old, 50? Yeah, she's up there. She's 50, dog. And it's also Jaden's. Jaden's friend. Jaden's a squeak. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's a little got guy. kind of ripped now. Is he ripped? Yeah. A little but guy. I, I mean, you can. I like Jaden. You can fight any kid who wants to cut their dick off. You yeah. Know, yeah. Oh, he, he wants yeah. to. Yeah. Um, so, and they're friends, right? It was yeah. her son's friend. Mm -hmm. And so she's talking about it on Facebook Live, like, you can't get you're you're giving maybe you're not aware of yeah. how you're be, you're portraying yourself. No, you're aware. The, the, the wives do that all the time. Aisha Curry did it. Aisha Curry with her cooking oh, show. Yeah, she did and then that she was like, yeah, yeah, it's real hard to balance the life when Steph gets all the the fame. Bitch, are you leading the NBA in three pointers every goddamn year? Have you changed any game? No. Have you changed anything besides your shoes when you're going out to whatever event Steph Curry invited you? Yeah. To? Have you made everybody want to have light skinned babies <laughs> that can shoot threes? No. So shut the fuck up. I mean. Can't can't these ladies just accept the fact that they were chosen by great men and just deal with it? The only reason why anyone knows who you are, Aisha Curry, is because Steph be fucking draining three. Yes, yes. So that's what you got to do. Steph Curry with the shot. Nobody be goes, I, I, I. Sh no, everyone goes Steph Curry with the shot. They don't go Aisha Curry with the egg break on the pan. Yeah, Aisha Curry with the avocado toast. No yeah, one says that. Nobody says that. It's not yeah. going to be in a rap song. No, no. So at, at a certain point, you got to know when your support is needed. You don't got to take the forefront. You can, you know, you can sell your own, you have your own business, supply for the kids, supply for your husband, and sell tummy teen. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's what you got to do. So, uh... It's the talk. It's the talk. Every single podcast, every show, everybody, everyone. Talking about I mean, it. how many times? What's been replayed more? You think the Will Smith smack or the planes going into the building at nine eleven? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Which I guess Hollywood is such a stupid town that is the Hollywood's nine eleven. Yeah, it's yeah. the only bad thing that happens to those multi-millionaires. Yeah, those are the only two videos that's been played in slow motion, back to back to back. Yeah, I can't wait till there's Will Smith slap truthers. Yeah, who are like protesting in front of his house. It's a lie. Yeah, the slap was a myth. The only the only things that have more views than that are is a Mr. Beast video or two girls one cup. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that is it. I mean, that thing has been slowed down. There's already conspiracy theorists. There will never be anything that happens again on this planet that will not come with a concomitant. Uh, if you don't know that word, you know what to do. Get murder. That will not come with a concomitant conspiracy. Theory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything that comes with a conspiracy. Even people watching this podcast are going, 
is Jared Chance the Rapper? Yeah, yeah. They don't believe I'm black. They don't believe you're Jared Harvin. You're just Chance the Rapper without a hat. Yeah, they, they just think I uh, soaked myself in Hennessy. Would anyone recognize Chance the Rapper if he wasn't wearing a hat? Probably, yeah. Because when you're wearing a hat, people think you're Chance the Rapper. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure if that's racist because the person that did it to you was a black woman. Yeah, she was a black lady. So I don't think it's racist. I think in a hat... Anyone who's light skinned looks like Chance yeah, the Rapper. You can't get much blacker than that black lady that said look like Chance the Rapper. You could not get more black. She than looks her. like she cooks the whiting at the church cookout. I think she just wanted. I think she was Jada in you. She just wanted to get fucked by a younger guy yeah. by her husband. Yeah. Did Will watch? Uh, I I think. 